to do it. My next guest tonight is a, a very funny comedian, and every Tuesday, starting May 25th, you can see him in Louis C.K.'s Filthy Stupid Talent Show at the UCB Theater right here in New York City. Please welcome very funny guy, Louis C.K. <laughs> glad you could uh, be here tonight. It was nice Thanks. to have you. It is uh, nice to be here as well. Yeah, hey, well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he took my nice to have you into nice to be here. That's right. It was a very good rejoinder, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> it was uh -huh. good. We had some uh, trouble getting a hold of oh, you. I, I called your, uh, somebody from your office called me and then I called back, but I, I uh, didn't. I dialed wrong. And uh, have you ever gotten a wrong number and the person that you get can't believe that someone could get a wrong number? Like, they're just blown away. They don't take it. I got some old lady. I called her, like, hi. Uh, some guy, Mike, called. I was like, hi, is Mike there? And she's like, what? Who is this? What do you want from me? <laughs> freaked out, you know? Like, uh -huh. I, my, her phone rings every 40 years, and it was me this time. And uh, So I kept redialing her all day and going, put Mike on her, I'll kill you. You're gonna, ah, I'm going to come get you. <laughs> me and Mike, they're going to murder you. No, I, uh huh. You I, you well, I used to always uh, like when the phone rang anytime, but now it rings like 20 times a day and it's solicitors and stuff. And I got that call today where hold calls you. Have you ever gotten a call and, hello, this is an important call. Please hold on. <laughs> and I'm in my house. I'm on hold. I didn't call anybody. <laughs> anyway, it was my mother because uh, <laughs> she, uh, she works for MCI and she's trying oh. to get me to switch. And, uh, <laughs> No, you know who really calls me every day, though? AT&T calls me every day. And they're like, hi, this is AT&T. Would you like to have AT&T? And, uh, and I'm like, yeah. that's, that, I know, that's the whole thing. Would you like to have it, AT&T? And I'm like, that's what I have. I have it. That's what we're talking on right now. Well, do you, uh, do you want some more? <laughs> They, they never like give up, too, because yeah. I tell them every time, I'm like, I have, no, but it's good, though, you should, I know, I have it, I'm happy with it, but couldn't you still have, get it? <laughs> it's like calling me and going, hi, would you like to be a guy on the phone? I am a guy on the phone, that's what I... <laughs> Are you, uh, I don't know if you are, but are you worried about this Y2K thing? Are you worried about the year 2000? Not really. Some pe I heard a, a new angle on it that people, some people are like, uh, I'm not going to have to pay my bills. Woo! Y2K! You're going to clean it out. Woo! I ain't paying nothing. Woo! Woo! They're going to forget who I am. <laughs> and I don't buy that because I think... Uh, They'll, everyone, there'll be this new rule, like, okay, we all know that you all owe uh, people money, so just, all poor people just have to give rich people money. Just give it, <laughs> it's like a hundred bucks a week, just just give some rich That's people. That's the system they're going to come up with? Yeah. This is a very cynical, almost political view from you. Are you, uh, are you leaning that way? Are you going to become one of those political comedians? Not really, no, I don't really care about anything. <laughs> but, uh, good. Yeah. Well, I think people are too quick to, people love to tear stuff down, just because it's fun to get angry, you know? Like, you hear people, like, agreeing on the most insane... People like, oh, yeah. I hear people say, like, yeah, doctors suck, man. Who needs doc? And everybody around them goes, like, yeah. Yeah, doctors can kiss my ass. What are you talking about? Doctors are, are good. Like, yeah, the post office. The hell with the post office, man. When people are like, yeah. Yeah, the post office sucks. <laughs> Why did, like, it's like that, you know that old 60s song that, uh... You know, sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Remember that song? Yeah, the guy yeah. got really mad at signs. Right. You know, it was like, uh, right. the whole song, he's like, breaking up the scenery, breaking my mind. Right, right. You know, it's like, oh, okay, well, no more signs then. No more stop signs, take them down. Who needs those, you know? They're breaking my mind. Yeah, they're, oh, they're messing me up, you know? <laughs> Who needs those stop signs, you know? And at the end of the song, he's like, and, so I made my own little sign, and it said I'm doing fine. Well, see, he's a hypocrite. <laughs> you know? The whole song's about signs are all for him, and he's like, right, right. He makes a joke. I hate that guy. That guy's a bad guy. He's awful. And then even, I hate to go on about a 30-year-old song for 10 minutes, but... Then there's, then there's a part in the middle where he goes, uh, I saw a sign said, long-haired freaky people need not apply. Right, right. And first of all, no, you didn't. You didn't see the sign. <laughs> You're a liar. Like that. 
He's trying to get people mad about something that <laughs> he made never up. never a sign. Yeah. And it's not fair. <laughs> but you, I bet you, in your theory, I bet it's right. I bet people have heard that song and, and like, get into and like, it. Yeah, like, signs. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> people just love to just agree, you know. Yeah. It's like when people use uh, old sayings that we've all decided are true, and right. we don't even know how they connect to what you're talking about. And you, ju you just do half of them now. It's like, right. yeah, I went in Rome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, burn the hand. Everybody's like, yeah, burn the hand. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows the back. I, I do my own second half now, right, and right. people agree. If you say it with enough, uh, like, yeah, burn the hand is like a man in the sand. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's true. I'm not, I'm not gonna go back there next yeah. time. Whatever, like, uh, yeah, when in Rome, you gotta grab the hand of a badger's dad. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man. Stop breaking my mind. True, this. breaking my mind. Uh, well, we gotta run, unfortunately. Hilarious stuff as always. Louis C.K., thank you thank so much you. for Thanks coming by.